Good evening everybody and once again welcome to the video. In this video I'm gonna be teaching you how to roll back during a disaster in Apache Hodi transactional data lake. In my previous video I did talk about how you can take a regular backup or snapshot of your Hodi tables so in case when something goes wrong you have the flexibility to roll back. An important note, once you roll back, you cannot undo it, okay? So let's see a short demo how to perform a rollback. All right, I made a nice diagram, so hopefully I could explain you, um, you know, um, the code. So before I go to the code, uh, I'm gonna insert a, a batch of record. These are 100 data points, fake data points, right? Then I'm gonna call save checkpoints, right? Then I'm gonna insert the second batch then again, I'm gonna call save checkpoints. Third batch, save checkpoints. So after inserting each batch, I'll have some commit. I have given the number one, two, three for illustration purposes. Then I call the show checkpoints, which means I'll see all the checkpoints. Then I'm gonna call the delete checkpoints. So the delete checkpoint is gonna delete this guy, okay? Because I wanna roll back to this version over here. This is where I wanna roll back, okay? So let me merge this. So I'm gonna delete this and then I want to roll back over here to this this commit over here so that is what i want to do okay so i'm going to call the delete then i'm again i'm going to call the show and then i'm going to roll back to this particular commit so now hopefully you got the idea and this is exactly what i've done in the code so let's take a look at the code again uh, here i have defined my spark configuration uh, and um, pretty much right and then over here I'm inserting the first batch of records. So observe over here, right? I'm generating certain fake data points and then I'm essentially, uh, you know, uh, writing that into a transactional data lake on line 104. Then what I'm doing is basically I'm grabbing the latest commit and then I'm essentially calling the create save point. So which means I'm creating save points or checkpoints, right? Then I'm doing this exercise two more time. If you observe, I have given nice comments here. So, so the same thing is repeated here. And then the same thing is repeated one more time. So total I do three times. So basically observe the diagram. I have three batches inserted. Okay. After every batch, I'm calling save checkpoints. Ideally, you want to do this on a separate job, but for your learning purposes, I'm showing you in this way. Okay. So uh, this is the third batch and, and I do the same thing. After all the th three batches have been inserted. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to call, uh, show me all the checkpoints that you have. So that you will see probably here. So I'm calling a stored procedure called show save checkpoints where I'm passing in the database name and the table name. So basically I should see all the uh, you know checkpoints that I have, right? Then what I'm doing is I'm deleting a checkpoint. So I'm basically deleting uh, the latest one, which means if you see the diagram, I'm gonna delete this checkpoint over here. And the way I do that is I, basically uh, call the stored procedure call show commits and then I'm gonna grab the latest commit so if you can observe I'm grabbing the latest commit uh, right and then I'm calling the stored procedure called delete save points so basically I'm gonna perform my delete and then basically again I'm doing a show which means you will see things in a console right and at the end I'm doing a rollback so basically I'm gonna provide the commit and then I'm gonna roll back so if you observe the way I'm doing the rollback is uh, I'm calling a stored procedure called show sa uh, show uh, save point. So basically it's gonna sh show me all the save points I have. So it's gonna show me these two. And from that, I wanna roll back to my yellow, the yellow one, right? So basically if you observe, I'm using dot collect and then basically in the try catch block, I'm calling roll to the save point. I'm passing in the database name, the table name and the commit. Again, you will see this in an action so uh, shortly, so I'm gonna show you everything. So basically I'm gonna come to the script tag. I'm gonna save the job. I'm using Glue 4.0 uh, 4 and again, uh, just wanna show the job parameter. This is the conf dar format format SOD and I'm using an external library called Faker to basically teach you guys the concept. So let's let's basically run this and hopefully this will make sense. So I have started it. Uh, I'll open up CloudWatch. And again, this will take about a second or two. The logs, you know, usually take about a, you know, couple of seconds. So I'm gonna be patient over here and I'll try my best to zoom in as well. 
So let me open up the logs. And let me close this. Okay, so the, 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 the code is still running. So I have to wait for a second. Let's see if the log file is now created. Hopefully it should be. No, it's still not there. I still have to wait at this point. So I'm just gonna wait for about a second or two. Hopefully now. Yes, I do have the log file. Now I'm gonna click on resume. So now uh, again, remember this diagram, okay? So we're gonna insert 100 records. I'm gonna call save checkpoints. And then I'm, uh, so you'll see that in the print statement, okay? So hopefully I'll show you. Let me click on refresh over here. And the log should come pretty soon. So again, I'm gonna insert the first batch of record, then I'm calling save checkpoints, and then I'm gonna do a count. So basically you're gonna see that in the console, okay? By, by doing this exercise, it gives you a good hands-on experience on how to roll back when things goes, you know, south or, you know, so, so let's wait. I'm gonna refresh the logs to make sure that it is coming. Yeah, so my glue job is still running, as you can see. I'm gonna refresh, make sure. Let me refresh here. Again, it takes about a you know couple of you know seconds uh, to run. Okay, so <laughs> just gotta be patient at this point. Try to refresh and see if I have. Yeah, I see one. So here you can see I have the first commit, right? So I have inserted the data into my Apache Hori transaction data lake, and here you can see the save checkpoint is true, which means our checkpoint was taken, and the record count is 100. So, so far we have, you know, the, the commit, we did took a ch uh, checkpoint or save point and the count is 100. Now I repeat the same process uh, two more times. So again, now we have one complete. So now the second uh, batch will be inserted. I'm gonna take the save point and then I'm gonna basically perform a count. So you will see that in the print statement. Observe this. The second commit came in, right? Again, the first commit was starting with 920. This is the newer commit over here, right? We took the save point of the commit 8177, then the count is 200, okay? Now, the same process is repeated one more time, so I'm gonna do that. Again, this is what we are following. We inserted, took a checkpoint, inserted, took a checkpoint, inserted, took a checkpoint. So now I should be seeing the third one. And if you observe here, look at that, right? And then here I can see the save point, the count is 300. Now, at this point, what I do is I call show all checkpoints. So here you can see I have three checkpoints, right? Three, four, eight, one, seven, seven, and nine, two, zero. Now, what I do is basically I'm gonna call the delete checkpoints. As you can see, I get a true, which means I was able to delete the latest checkpoint. So basically over here, the third batch that I inserted, I have deleted the checkpoint, right? If you observe. Now, after that, again, I do show checkpoints. So here you can see these two checkpoints. Now I issue a rollback command, right? And, and basically the rollback has been successful as you can see over here in the print statement. So when I go to Athena and I run the query, I should see the count as 200. So let's query uh, this table and look at that 200. So we were able to roll back. So basically this uh, code will uh, basically show you how to take check, how to take save points or uh, checkpoints uh, of your hoodie transaction data lake. And then when uh, things go south, you can essentially roll back uh, using the stored procedure that I just showed you. I hope these videos are useful. And if you did find the video useful, let me know in the comment section. The code could be found on my GitHub section. So make sure to download and try this code out. Thank you so much and I'm gonna see you in the next video.